Indiana just passed a grim milestone in the number of Hoosiers who have died of the coronavirus. This, as the state health department reports, an 8% jump in the number of people who have tested positive. The state added 30 more deaths, bringing the total number of deaths in Indiana now to 203. They also report 436 new positive cases. That means more than 5,900 people here have tested positive for coronavirus. More than 30,000 people have been tested for this virus. Dr. Deborah Burks was on the Today Show this morning from the White House. She says social distancing is working. We know Washington and California started very early, went to social distancing very early. Their curves look like they are persistently flat, and that's very encouraging for us. Obviously, New York and New Jersey had a, what we call a logarithmic rise in the number of new cases, but we're seeing that stabilizing, and then that gives us great encouragement. But Dr. Burks does say it's important that people don't see this as a sign, as a signal to stop social distancing. Now, we'll get more on how the state is doing right now. This afternoon at 2.30, state health officials, along with Governor Eric Holcomb, will hold their daily briefing. You can watch that live right here on Channel 13. And IPS launched its home learning plan to keep students academically engaged and on track during the COVID-19 school closures. The plan begins tomorrow. The plan includes paper and pencil packets mailed out monthly for K through 8 students. For high school students, that includes laptops so they can complete e-learning courses. Now, these home learning days will take place Tuesday through Thursday of each week. Mondays and Fridays have been set aside as teacher work days for them to plan and grade. It is a whole new way of learning for what IPS Superintendent Dr. Alicia Johnson called unprecedented circumstances videos that can be accessed through any device, um, office hours that will be offered every day to students and families, weekly check-ins with families that will be happening so we can ensure engagement. So to the extent possible that we're able to still make sure that we're staying connected and engaged with our students and families to support them, um, I believe we're pushing on every lever we can to make that happen. And we have more on that plan on our website at WTHR.com. Well, the 500 Festival announced new dates for events surrounding the Indianapolis 500 on August 23rd. The sales force and J.P. Morgan Chase Kids Day and Rookie Run is Saturday, August 8th. Breakfast at the Brickyard, where the 500 Festival Queen is crowned and there is a conversation with drivers, is now Saturday, August 15th. They will still hold a memorial service on Friday, August 21st. Then that night, they will hold off the grid, the red carpet celebration with celebrities. The IPL 500 Festival Parade will now be on Saturday, August 22nd.